Hi, I'm Brian Linzer, and I live in downtown Fort Worth. And I want to talk to you about uh, a project that I've been working on. Uh, and it's a project that the uh, Army Corps of Engineers and the Tarrant Regional Water District's been working on, the Central City Flood Control Project. And uh, one of the reasons I'm living in this condo is out my windows here, I can see pretty much every square inch of the uh, flood control project, and I'm very interested in it. And uh, it's a little bit confusing because uh, you see bridges being built over dry land, etc. So uh, I want to talk about that, and then I want to take you in my drone and fly you over where the new river channel is going to go. So a uh, little bit of history. Uh, uh, we've had, you know, very serious flooding in, in, uh, in this uh, low-lying uh, area and in downtown and West 7th area, etc. And, uh, and one of the main reasons was, was there's a great big bend in the Trinity River. And that's just not a very efficient means for uh, getting flood water to uh, come through town. So uh, the Army Corps of Engineers some years ago uh, came up with a, a flood control uh, plan that involves... Uh, digging a, a flood control bypass channel and uh, it's going to go right through uh, Panther Island and uh, turn that great big meandering loop uh, into a, a straight shot and uh, that big meandering loop uh, you know it's where cowboys used to hold their cattle uh, while they uh, you know went to Hell's Half Acre and uh, drank iced tea or whatever uh, but that's uh, that's good for cowboys but it's not good for flood water so uh, I'm going to uh, fly you in my drone over uh, the new project, and um, and I think it's pretty interesting. It's been a fun project for me. Uh, I have uh, programmed my drone to do it all automatically. So from beginning to end, my you know all I got to do is hit go, and my drone does the whole thing. And I'll show you why that's important in just a little bit when we go up in my drone. And so uh, for now, I know that. Um, you know, I'm not a civil engineer. Uh, I play one on Facebook. Uh, but uh, if you've got uh, hardcore questions about this, uh, talk to the Army Corps of Engineers or the uh, uh, Tarrant Regional Water District or the Panther Island people. Uh, or I may have the answer, but, uh, but they're the best sources. And that's where I get all my information. Uh, so, uh, so stand by and uh, let's go for a flight in my drone here. Okay, uh, before we go up, I wanted to show you a few maps real quick. Uh, in the circle here is downtown Fort Worth. And uh, here is the, uh, the new river channel that's going in, uh, in green here. And uh, there it is once it's, once it's in with the three bridges. So I'm going to start you out by uh, flying over the Clear Fork of the Trinity River. Uh, this is coming like from Lake Benbrook area, southwest Fort Worth. And I, I just wanted to uh, lead up to the uh, project up ahead. Uh, straight ahead here, we're looking at the Fort Worth Western Railroad Bridge. Uh, you may see that when you're at Mayfest. Uh, that's, of course, uh, Trinity Park on the left. Okay, here we are with uh, downtown Fort Worth straight ahead, uh, going north on the uh, Clear Fork of the Trinity River. Uh, let me come down a little bit here. That's Forest Park on the right uh, with those uh, cars whizzing by. Uh, seeing the levees here reminds me to mention this, uh, that uh, they were built in 1960 uh, as a response to the 1949 flooding. But uh, unfortunately, Fort Worth's population has tripled since then. Uh, after we cross this little uh, dam here, we'll be flying up to the Phyllis Tilly Pedestrian Bridge, uh, which won a statewide architectural award in 2012. Uh, it's a fantastic bridge, and it's, uh, it's really the only way for pedestrians to cross the river. Uh, you can park right there at Rotary Park and uh, walk across the... Uh, the, the uh, bridge here or a bike across it or it's a wonderful link uh, to uh, Trinity Park. 
let me uh, let me go down uh, under the bridge here. This is the uh, Lancaster Avenue Bridge. Uh, I think it's like uh, 10 miles long if you've ever walked across it. It's it's a really long bridge. <laughs> That's why that pedestrian bridge is so important. Okay, here we are uh, traveling north on the uh, Trinity. That's the new city hall straight ahead there. Uh, I'm going to speed it up a little bit uh, to get us uh, closer to our uh, flood project up ahead. Uh, this bridge here is the West 7th Street Bridge. I think that's a 2013 bridge. Uh, it's a wonderful bridge. Uh, completed in like six months, I think. Right up ahead here, we're going to uh, start the, uh, the flood control bypass channel where they're going to dig it out. Uh, you see the uh, Trinity uh, kind of take a right up here, but we're going to go more straight or starting out to the left. And this is where we're going to actually start the bypass channel. And uh, let me go up in altitude a bit here to clear these trees. And then right here, they're going to dig, dig, dig this, uh, this deep bypass channel. And it's going to go through here uh, and through this uh, light industrial area here. Uh, there'll be some revisions to the to the light industrial area, um, and then straight ahead is the um, White Settlement Bridge, one of the brand new three bridges, and uh, we're going to go underneath that bridge. Um, I'm going to go over it here, uh, and you'll see the railroad on the left. And one of the reasons I'm shooting this uh, video right here today was seeing that big long park train where it makes it a little easier to see where the railroad is. Uh, straight ahead here is the new uh, Henderson Bridge. And, uh, and again, the railroad is able to go under these bridges, so no more stopping uh, for those railroad crossings. And then uh, again, I could go under this bridge, but I don't want to because I want to be able to duplicate this in the future, and I'm afraid there's going to be construction equipment or something down there. So we'll fly over that. And then uh, straight ahead, uh, we're going to meet up with the, the West Fork of the Trinity River, you know, coming from uh, Lake Worth and Eagle Mountain Lake and Lake Bridgeport. And uh, it's, gonna, it's going to uh, converge here, the bypass channel with this uh, West Fork of the Trinity River. And uh, there's even going to be a, a flood control gate there to keep the floodwaters from heading towards downtown. And uh, the, the main flow is going to just go uh, straight ahead here in this new channel that we're flying over alongside the train. Uh, we're never going to cross the, uh, the train tracks. That would be a tricky business. Straight ahead here is the, uh, is the brand new Main Street uh, Trinity River Vision Bridge. Uh, it was the, uh, the last one completed. And you can see the train doesn't go under this one. It, it kind of goes a different direction. That just wasn't a possibility, unfortunately. So we uh, were able to go under two of the three bridges. And then straight ahead, you'll see the uh, main body of the Trinity River. Uh, as it's going north, uh, we're going to uh, exit the, uh, the deep channel here and let the floodwaters uh, bypass uh, downtown and the lower areas. And uh, I'm going to do a little U-turn uh, here. And, uh, and head back home. I hope you've enjoyed our flight. Please remain seated until we arrive at our gate.